Hey, hey fam, hey. Today, you are going to see me use a Dollar Tree mousetrap, a Dollar Tree cutting board, and some fingernails. Yep, some fake nails. And let's, let's see what I'm going to make today. Let's go. DIY number one. I'm attempting to make an exploding piggy bank. It's made with a mouse trap, and when you drop your coins in, it explodes. Well, I got it all built, and I really played around with it, and guess what? It didn't explode. One of the walls just fell down, and that was it. So I had to bring it back to the drawing board and redo it. Here you can see me. I'm. I've got the base. The base is is um, a cutting board. Um, here in Ontario, we're in lockdown. We can only get essentials in the Dollar Tree store and Dollarama. So <laughs> you can only get like health and beauty, garden, houseware, and food. And that's about it. So today I took a mouse trap and I was going to make an exploding piggy bank. My father-in-law, Dougal, um, he made all the grandkids one when they were little. He made them all one and the kids played with it for hours. They loved it. So I thought, oh, what a way to honor my father-in-law. Uh, Dougal died about four years ago and he was... He was the kindest man I've ever known in my life. So I really wanted to honor him. And it didn't go so well. Sorry, Dougal. I feel like you're here with me and I feel like you understand the struggle. Do not do this. Do not glue down the mouse trap. The mouse trap, it doesn't, the sides don't, and the roof doesn't fly off if you glue down the mouse trap. So I had to pry this all off. And now I'm just making the base. Um, I'm just measuring the sides, how long they have to be, and cutting them. Hupster comes to help me. Hupster to the rescue. I was getting frustrated at this point. I was just like, it wasn't working. I was doing it over and over. And yeah. So he came and gave me a helping hand. Um, he's just... Uh, fitting it in right now for even this didn't work the top of the box didn't work it was like oh it was just the, the struggle was real we ended up measuring you have a base with a lip the lip has to hold the base in you have you have um a floating mouse trap don't glue it or air nail it it doesn't work as good and then you have the lid. We had to redo the lid and everything more than once. So don't be disappointed if it doesn't work the first time. For the lid, we took the mouse trap apart and just took the wood piece. So it's the same size as the mouse trap down below. And we glued it onto a piece of wood for the lid um, just to help hold the sides in. And then we used a drill and made the hole for the coin. But this this really was a struggle. Like we had to try very many times. You'll see us screwing around with this, trying to work it out and like nothing happens or like the one wall falls. So yeah, trial and error, but it was fun. It was, uh, and it was good memories of Dougal. Hope you enjoy it. DIY number two, a beautiful mermaid sign. I got some fake nails at the Dollar Tree store and I cut them up and used them as fins for a mermaid. I'm using my hot glue gun and this is an IOD mermaid mold and I'm just filling it up with hot glue. Then I'm going to take those fake nails and 
make little slices in them and kind of melt them and heat them up with the, my my heat gun and uh, paint them with alcohol ink and the struggle is real my friends I was gonna make I was gonna use all these little Dollar Tree signs and they were just they were in the nursery section like the gardening section and it was just too much work I couldn't get them cleaned off I was I was um, going to repaint them and I ended up using a cutting board. So the cutting board was easier and you'll see me stencil it. When stenciling, less is more. You dab your stencil brush in the paint and then I usually wipe it off like two to three times. I really use a very dry brush so it doesn't run underneath the stencil. And this, this um, sign, it's a fun one. It says, I must be a mermaid. I have no fear of depths and a great fear of shallow living. In today's video, I'm participating in the lockdown. Ontario's in lockdown. Our Dollar Tree and, well, all of our stores, but our Dollar Tree and Dollarama here in Canada you can only get essentials and they don't consider craft supplies essentials. So it's a challenge. It's a challenge for sure. Um, so I got some fake nails and I got some, and I got some mouse traps and I was just going to try to reinvent something unique. For my friends from Ontario, have got together and are have invented this we're in lockdown collab the four are lisa at lisa and company sandra at schwoen's nest sonia at domestic diva and antoinette at simple yet chic these four girls are so creative and unique you're going to really enjoy their diys and their furniture flips and they're crafting, go check them out. And there's a great playlist. Go give some love and support to the playlist. If you like, subscribe, and leave a comment, YouTube smiles upon us and shares us with more people. So go give them some love and have a great day. <laughs>
Thanks for joining me today. So much fun. I'm excited that you joined my fam. Have a creative, inspired, and safe week. Love you. Bye. <laughs>